we see different kinds of prepositions, different types that is. First is the simple prepositions. They are single words. Like you can see at, by, for, from, of, off. Be careful. This off is with a single F. This is with a double F. On, in, out, through, till, to, up, with, etc. Let us take examples of each type to see how we can use it. Now, if I say I will meet you at the other station. We are using the preposition at to denote place. That means we are talking about which place? At the other station. So at is showing us place. But suppose I say, I will meet you at 4 o'clock. Now the same preposition at over here shows you the time. When we say at 4 o'clock, at 6.30, at midnight, then we use at to denote time while this denotes place. So you can see the same preposition can be used for both. Now if you look at the next preposition, by. By can be used in many many ways. For example, if I want to say by whom is something done? Like, the papers were collected by the teacher. Hereby, shows you by whom it was done. Kiske dwara kiya gaya. Now this same by can be used so differently in a different sentence. I will arrive by 4 o'clock. Now please note here when we said at 4 o'clock, it showed you the exact time at 4 o'clock. When I say by 4 o'clock, char baje tak, by around 4 o'clock. That means it might be 5 minutes to 4 that I'll reach. But by 4, I will surely reach or I will surely arrive. So this meaning over here by is very different from this meaning by. Can you see the difference? Let us take another example for by where again the meaning changes. She sat by me. Here the meaning of by is beside. By or beside means just close to me or near me. It can also mean near. Now all these are prepositions which have similar meaning in this context. Is sandarb me, aap keh sakte, she sat by me, beside me, near me, mere nazdeek baithi, mere baju mein baithi. So you can see in all three contexts, 